perspectives as to why the low channels are no longer emphasized, especially in the study of acupuncture today. And that historical root really occurs during the period of time of about the 12th century. Um, it's at that particular period of time that a physician, an imperial physician, right, by the name of Dao Huang Jing, right, basically concluded that the intensity of education in acupuncture was simply too enormous of a task for students to really come to understand the fullness that acupuncture had to offer. And so consequently, he made a, an important decision, and that decision was to basically, in the study of acupuncture, just focus on the primary channels, focus on some of the low vessels in relationship as an extension of the primary channel, since the primary channels contain low points. And at the same time, I, what he did was, as he began to emphasize on the primary channels, he began to get rid of the so-called secondary vessels of acupuncture. That means you don't really now, at this point in historical time, need to know the sinew channels, you don't need to know the divergent channels. You don't need to know the cutaneous regions of the body. And as a result of the inability to um, study these particular channels, what you're going to have is you're going to have people that obviously disagrees with this decision, some people who are very enamored 